Have you ever seen a design you really like and want to use, but you just can't because it was a Photoshop file, aka PSD file, and you just don't know Photoshop? Well, that problem has been solved. Did you know with Canva, you can now use Photoshop PSD files in Canva and it transfers all of the Photoshop layers into Canva to make it 100% edible for you. So all of those designs you see on great apps like freepick.com or even Adobe Stock and you see some designs or some thumbnails you really wish you could download and use but you couldn't because you don't know Photoshop, well guess what, you now can. These designs I'm showing you on my computer now, you can download these and click and drag the PSD file into Canva and like that, now you can use them and make them your own by using Canva. You don't need to know Photoshop anymore, but you can still use Photoshop and PSD files. I'm gonna show you exactly how to make that happen. some good examples to show you some really awesome designs you can now use. So now we're in Adobe Stock and it wasn't too long ago in order to use any of these files and redesign them to make them your own you had to know Photoshop. Well you no longer do. It's as simple as going to some place like Adobe Stock or in this case I'm using freepick.com which I highly recommend. Finding your favorite file, downloading it and then just click and drag it into Canva and boom you can make it your own and edit it. So let's just do just that. Let's go over here to Canva right now. So I'm in Canva and we're going to make this very simple. I'm going to go ahead and go to YouTube thumbnail and just go ahead and start with create blank. I'm creating a blank YouTube thumbnail. And now all we have to do is just click on uploads on the left hand side. And right when I do that, I'm going to click and drag a PSD file over into Canva. Watch this. I'm just simply going to click and drag one. I'm going to take it click and drag it into my uploads into Canva and now it's uploading and it's thinking and within a few seconds it's gonna populate okay it took about 90 seconds for Canva to recognize everything and to accurately upload it into your file but now since you have it all you have to do now is just click it and drag it over into Canva and now check out how awesome this is it automatically split everything up into layers now you can officially make this Photoshop file this PSD file your own edit change it redesign it change the color scheme the size the text everything within Canva so check this out so I can click on each one I can click on virtual and now I can change this color to pink I can click on reality and delete that part right I can click on this placeholder and delete it or I can keep it but now this placeholder is still here within Canva so now I can search for any element I want and just simply click and drag it over into that space and now I am actively using a PSD Photoshop file within Canva so everything that was in Photoshop all of the layers that were in Photoshop now transferred very cleanly over into Canva. So I can, I can delete that logo section and I can put my own logo. All right, let's just bring my, my own logo into here. I'll take my own logo and I'll, and I'll make it smaller, drag it up. I can just put it right here, change the size of the text. I can even delete this, delete that, and everything stayed here. That's a game changer. That makes everything so much more easy and simpler. If you don't know Photoshop, it doesn't matter now. Okay, let's try one more. I'll start with a clean slate and we'll click and drag one more PSD file into Canva. I'm in uploads and I'm clicking and dragging into Canva. This one's uploading much faster. All right, it's in Canva. This one took about 20 seconds, much faster. Let's go back into Canva and click and drag. I find my file in my project section. So as soon as you upload it into your upload section, Canva automatically puts it in this sidebar called projects. So you still just have to click and drag it over here. And now this file is now over here in Canva and everything is editable and everything is separate with its own layers. So check this out, Black Friday, I need to make this box a little bit bigger so it fits. Same thing with the word Friday, make it bigger. There's that. I could keep these images here or again, I can make it my own. I can add this robot in here and don't forget, I can do edit image and I can use the background remover tool in Canva and now I can make every image I have transparent to fit perfectly in this new file I'm making. And just like that, I completely transformed a PSD file and made it my own file within Canva. So I just deleted a few items. 
I added my own image, in this case this robot, I removed the background, but I was able to keep this nice new thumbnail, that's a Photoshop file with the nice yellow, black, with the gradient background and same text, and now I have this own file. And just like anything else, when you're ready, you just hit the share button, download it, and now you have a Photoshop file that you redesigned and re-edited in Canva, and now you can save it as a JPEG or a PNG, whatever option you prefer. So it's really just that simple. Canva has made this a game changer. It's that simple and it makes life much easier, especially for those people who just aren't as good or don't know Photoshop. So if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first one to know when all of these new videos just like this come out. And again, thank you so much for watching. And until then, we'll see you next time.